Hey guys, welcome to the brand new channel GoPro Tutorials and Films by LJ Films. Uh, just want to put it straight out there, I'm not a professional in any way. Uh, I've had experience with GoPros for many, many years and I've realized over those years that there's, there's so many people that just aren't as educated as, as you'd expect them to be. They're just, the, the settings that they just put on and you just wonder why they're doing it and then you show them and they're just astounded. So I just thought I'd try to share my knowledge as best as I can. Um, if you've got any opinions, just like, uh, comment the video or anything like that. You know, I'd, I'd, I'm open I'm open for any feedback because it's my first time and I hope this work goes out well and I hope I can help you guys create great GoPro videos in the future to come. Uh, this is going to be my first, this is going to be my last video. It's going to be a series hopefully coming out. This is just one about color. Uh, I posted ones about slow motion, resolution, best settings. Found that one really important on YouTube. Um, took me ages to find the best settings for use with my GoPro, and when I found it, I was just the difference was incredible. Anyway, let's get straight into it and start working on the color. First up, what you want to do is just go straight to File New Project. Let's just call it Color for this one. Uh, let's just set it based on first clip. Leave that all as it is. I changed my render format to that. One. To Apple Pro S422, it's a little bit bigger, but gives you slightly better quality. All right, so you go straight in. I'm just gonna copy and paste a video I've already got completely. Yeah, just just put that. Okay, put that down to 30 for now. It's just a video that I filmed while I was going camping one weekend with my friends, of me just going on a swing. So just go up. And I swing off, jump in the water, and that. So, first of all, shot at 1080p, at 60, actually, no, 120 FPS for this one, because I wanted to slow it down and post and see what it looked like using ultra slow motion, which I'll be looking at in a later video, so stay tuned. So, first of all, you want to choose a point of the video where it showcases the, the entirety of the video, so. This, if you choose this point, for example, you can't see any of the blues or anything like that. But then if you go to these later points where I'm actually in the air, so if we go to maybe here, something like that, you can see your greens, your blues, your, your, the wide range of your spectrum. So you just want to go straight into your color thing. Oh, by the way, I'm using Final Cut Pro 10.2, I believe it is. I'm pretty sure. You just want to go to color correction. Nope, color. And just drag color correction straight on top of it. For people that are using an older version, it'll be right here already. And you just want to go to color band. Now, what I found is that you don't do all your grading in a single band in a in a single single board. You want to add a new board, a new board, a new board every single time. And that gives you when you change one thing, it doesn't affect the whole entirety. So I'll go straight to exposure first. Uh, command seven. I right, so just want to put it onto RGB parade like this. And this will show you the entirety of your video. So these are your highlights. You want it to be at 100. So your whites are really bright sort of thing. And you can put, this should be at zero. So this is telling me basically that my highlights are fine. Don't need to really play with them at all. But they're saying pull down my shadows just a little bit so that it then adds depth and color. So if you just go out now, you can just already see the difference. It's, it's just little things like this that people need to learn. So you you think it just looks flat and gives you some depth depth. All right, so the second thing you want to do is you just want to add another color correction on top of it. This will give you new one. So this one's you can rename it if you want to, but that's going to be just all about your whole entire your uh, exposure. And this one here we're going to move straight into color. Don't play with saturation. You leave that to to last. So color you got your global. So this affects the entirety of the thing. So you can make it really green really pink, however, whatever, whatever suits you. Mm. So let's just go straight to your highlights. So this is your brighter parts of the picture. So if you go to Command 7 again, you can see this is, we're talking your highlights here. Oh, your blues, greens, and reds. So if you add the blue, you'll boost her up, so you can see. And take it away. So when you take blue away, it gains red, the opposite of blue. So let's just put that back on zero. So let's just play around. This is just personal preference, so you might want to make it more blue. So the skies look a little bit more, not necessarily saturated, but vibrant. Shadows, I've always realized that most of the time shadows is more than just your trees sort of thing. So, you know, you can have a really golden sort of looking tree sort of thing. To put that like that maybe. And highlights, I always go pink or sometimes even red. 
and this just adds that nice sort of, I don't know, not, just makes a nice look, I guess, when you're in the sunlight. So the difference from this one, just from that one, already, you can see, it looks a lot more, less pale. That's one thing about the GoPro, that it doesn't do skin tones as nicely as you'd expect it to. I've got a color finale thing, co uh, not color finale, yeah. uh, what you call it, where is it? Magic Bullet Suite, Cosmo. This thing here massively helps. It's Cosmo by Magic Bullet Suite. It does cost a fair bit of money, guys, but if you want to spend a little bit of money and worry about your skin tones for GoPro, Cosmo is the thing you want to use. And I'll do a review on that later up, coming up in my following videos. But anyway, so we've got the color sorted now, and now we just got to play around with the saturation. So you're going to have to go back up to color, got another color correction thing, color board. So now we're in saturation now. You can do global saturation, that increases everything. Uh, if you want to after the GoPro look, so when it comes straight out the camera, it's always a little bit oversaturated. Uh, this is just the look they've, they've adopted. If you're going for a more film look, you don't want it to be oversaturated, but you, you want it to look realistic, you know what I mean? So let's just, I don't know, think maybe a little bit in the shadows, but this is all just personal preference, so if you don't, if you don't like it, then you can change it. So however you, your your video looks like, so just a little bit more add saturation, putting it on color flat as that's what I film in for color grading, in your GoPro settings, you're always gonna have to add a little bit of saturation into it just to make sure that it, the colors still pop and it's. Alright guys, thanks for watching the whole video. Um, surprised you even made it this far. Uh, this just went through color and stuff. I know the video went for too long, and uh, if there's any helps or tips or feedback you guys have got, I'd really appreciate them in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, uh, please like it, and uh, if you really enjoy the video and you're keen to see plenty more tutorials about GoPros and help watch me improve as a YouTuber and just get this whole thing going, then subscribe and follow me on the great story that's going to be GoPro Tutorials and Films by LJ Films. Um, just at the very end here, we're just going to show you what the final thing was edited with all the slow motion and all this sort of stuff, so I uh, hope you guys enjoy and peace.